Hey guys! Oh my gosh, it's a family reunion. I'm back, and you're obviously back, and you're listening to episode 10 of Comics and Whatnot, Obi-Wan Kenobi Trailer Reaction! What's up, fellow Jedi Knights and Hadawan learners? It's Bree here, and I am finally back after a ridiculously long hiatus, I might add, for another awesome episode of Comics and Whatnot, 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 <laughs> where we try to stay on top of the latest and best pop culture stuff. Emphasis on the word try, because, I mean, do I have to even say it at this point? Like, I feel so bad. I've been, it's literally been five months since the last episode which actually seemed to be a big hit actually so thank you for that support but uh, then i just didn't come back so and you know what i really can't blame anyone at this point for that like i could say school or whatever but it's really my bad totally my bad you know so sorry about that but i am back and you know what even though i made a little bit of a little bit of a boo-boo for going away for so long and leaving you hanging i know i know okay i deserve it. okay this is also a reason to celebrate because it's number 10. It's episode number 10 ever. Woo! Oh, yeah. That's awesome. And thank you guys for being there for number 10. We are now in double digits, which I think is a huge accomplishment. So, like, why not the applause? Um, the big 1-0, that's super exciting. And I'm glad to be back for that. And at least we made it to 10. You know, at least we can say that. And I plan on staying back and I plan on doing some more regularly at least i've said this before but still i really do plan on it so this time i'm pretty sure i got you covered so yeah and like in five months in almost half a year which i hate saying half a year but it's true in almost half a year so much has happened and so much has come out since i've been gone and let, made my last appearance um stuff like the batman has come out i mean we've all seen the batman it was so good there's been a bunch and a ton of teaser trailers and um teasers i don't know there's been a, so many trailers and stuff that have come out like she hulk just came out a few weeks ago um thor uh i was gonna say thor ragnarok but thor 11 thunder that one the fifth millionth thor would be the trailer for that has come out we've gotten so many news so much news and stuff so of course i had to come back for that but the one there's one thing that was just way too important for me to stay away for and not make an episode for and i mean you guys have to know at this point what it is because if not you're living under a rock but just in case you don't know i'll give you a minute to think about it just okay think about it right now okay your time's up okay kenobi guys like <laughs> the obi-wan kenobi show is coming out literally tomorrow like it's 10 o'clock at night right now it's literally a matter of hours until we get two episodes at once of the Kenobi show. And it's going to be, it's going to be the best thing ever. Like we all have been waiting for this for so long. All of the super fans, like all the Star Wars super fans have basically been waiting for this for the past 17 or 18 years. Whenever Revenge of the Sith came out, um, it's been so long. For those of us who are now just jumping into the fandom as Padawan learners, this is going to be so amazing for everybody. And to prepare for this, I've, I'm that person who re-watches everything literally on an endless loop. So I have been watching all of the shows, all of the movies, the prequels, everything like multiple times on like to no end for the past like couple months. Um, and it's been amazing. And I feel so prepared for tomorrow. And I'm so happy. I even read a book called Master and Apprentice, which is part of Obi-Wan's like history so just in case you wanted something about Obi-Wan there's been a ton of books about Obi-Wan that just come out too but we'll discuss that later um but yeah I've been watching a ton of stuff and I've gone into all of these things again because one they're amazing and I never stopped getting into them anyway and two because um as some of you may know Kenobi is going to be pulling a bunch of characters from all these other places into this show and having them like reappear so that's going to include like star wars rebels because if you have watched the trailer you know that there's going to be some inquisitors in there 
and the Inquisitors all came from Star Wars Rebels. So the Grand Inquisitor and the Fifth Brother, I think, are from Rebels. So I've been rewatching that just in case you guys don't know. Um, and I mean, why not watch Clone Wars again? Because that's everything Obi Wan and Anakin rolled into one. So I've just been doing all of it at once, just redoing it all. So, but you know what? It's okay. Don't panic if you haven't watched all of those side shows and episodes yet of all these other things um the the way that they're going to be doing the show which is like how they did the mandalorian which is really awesome is that they're definitely going to make this in a way where it will be awesome for everyone no matter what you've watched so even if you haven't watched everything you're still going to be able to enjoy it i feel strongly that you really should watch at least the prequels in the main original trilogy for this to work if you don't know obi-wan I mean, you should know something. Please don't embarrass yourself. But yes, you don't have to watch everything. I mean, it's going to be, for those of us who have watched all of the stuff, it's going to be that just that much better. There's so much they're going to do with all these other characters coming in and coming back. And actually, if you haven't watched all of those shows before, like Rebels and Clone Wars, I got your back because I plan on doing reviews for those. So um, yeah, just to fill in the gaps and stuff and just so you can get caught up because the only thing that they're going to do more is just keep going back to these characters and keep adding more to, you know, what's already there. So you're going to have to watch them at some point, but I got you if you haven't. So that should be helpful when I do that. Um, but the one thing that I really wanted to do for the Obi-Wan Kenobi show, because it's so monumental and so amazing and so crazy that this is actually happening, I really wanted to do a trailer reaction for it. Our first trailer reaction. Yes, I know. It's fun. Please. Um, because first of all, the trailer was really good and it was everybody was so on edge for it to come out. Like everybody was waiting for it. It was around the Super Bowl. And I was one of those people who believed it was going to come out on Super Bowl Day. And I was so sad when it didn't. But we finally have had it for at least a couple months now. Um, so I really want to do a trailer reaction for it and just talk with you guys through it because it's so good. So Let's do, let's watch the trailer because it's awesome. And let me just warn you, okay, I'm using a new mic and stuff and I'm just figuring out how to work all of this. So I'm going to have to pause a little bit in between, but please watch the trailer first. Like just, if you haven't watched the trailer, this will be like a guide through it, but please just take a moment, take the one minute and like how many ever like seconds it takes to watch the trailer. It's so good. So this is, I think two trailers came out, but this is one of them. I'm pretty sure this is the oh, official. Yep. Coming. Stay <laughs> hidden. Okay, see, those are the Inquisitors, just saying from Rebels, which I was talking about earlier. Or we will not survive. Oh my gosh. Okay, sorry. I keep pausing it, but Luke. Okay, just so you don't know, you, you can't see what's on the screen. We're seeing little Luke right now, which is very important that you should watch the main trilogy for this as well but um i think it's gonna be so cool that we're gonna get to i mean i hope we get to see scenes of luke as a little kid but i think it's really cool that they're doing that so yeah that's luke as a little baby and everyone's watching over him he's 10 years old okay he's 10 leave us alone when the time comes he must be trained like you trained his father oh my god the literal the literal ultimate bird Star Wars. You still want Kenobi. He's gone. Maybe you've been looking in the wrong places. I want every. Oh, I love that they use his Revenge of the Sith picture. That's so cool. Really low life and bounty hunter to squeeze him. Okay. Can I just say, like right now, we're seeing Obi Wan not. We have not seen a lightsaber in this. Like I watched the trailer, but he does not use his lightsaber in this entire trailer. He's fighting like with his fists. I think that is so cool to see him like, because that's like Clone Wars stuff when you'd see him like punch people in the face and stuff like that. Like when he actually had to, like to see him use a blaster and be like that 
low in his life to like start like i don't know i think this this is so cool so we're gonna get some fight scenes in this which is really exciting so i'm gonna keep playing it but i think that's really cool too Oh. oh my god. Oh my gosh. Uh literally tomorrow. This is so crazy. It looks so good. Okay, so that I was saying before the inquisitors that are in this. The one girl who they seem to be um focusing on as like one of the bigger inquisitors she was not from any of the other shows she's completely new and i don't know i was looking through the comments i think and of something and it seems that some people already don't like the idea of this new inquisitor being put in the front i think she looks really cool but i i think she's gonna like do it like she's gonna do it for the inquisitor feel so i'm very much looking forward to her new character and it's they really did not make this a secret at all that Darth Vader was going to be in this. Like, on all of the press tours and all of the interviews, Hayden Christensen, Obi, like, Hayden Christensen and, let me use his real name, Ewan McGregor, have been together, like, just taking it all in. And the fact that Darth Vader is going to be in this is so crazy. And I really wonder how they're going to do it. Like, like how is that going to look? And to see them fight again, because they, they obviously have to make that happen. That's going to be so cool. Um, the one complaint that I think is hilarious about this trailer is the fact um, how the Grand Inquisitor looks. If you don't know where the Grand Inquisitor is from, he's from Star Wars Rebels as well. And he's literally the first Inquisitor that has showed up. So his first appearance was in animated, you know, so these people are, these characters are coming from animated into live action. And sometimes that transition can be a little tricky. And <laughs> for those of you who know what he looks like, what he's supposed to look like, this Inquisitor in live action's head is super huge. And people have been complaining about this ever since this trailer came out. Um, I see the problem. It's, it's a little uh, concerning, but I, I'm not too worried about like the acting part. But I do understand the complaint because, I mean, they could have CGI'd his head to be a little thinner than how he's supposed to look, like, in Star Wars Rebels. But, like, yes, his head is supposed to be thinner, which I think is hilarious. Um, so, yeah, that's a big takeaway that a lot of people got from the trailer. But uh, it looks so good. And to see them assembling the Darth Vader suit at the end, like, we're going to get the insider look of Darth Vader and years, you know? after his transformation and i really can't wait for this ewan mcgregor literally has not aged like you he looks the exact same hayden christensen you can kind of tell he you don't see his face in this but like all the other like press stuff that he's been doing right now you can tell but i mean that's so accurate because we need 10 years of aging here but i i cannot wait for this this is going to be so good I'm not going to be one of those people who's going to watch it at 3 o'clock in the morning. As soon as it comes out, i got to watch it at night after the day's over so I can soak it all in with, like, pizza and stuff and be just fully immersed, turn all the lights off and just be in it. And two episodes at once. I said this already, but please remember, two episodes at once. You get to watch, like, I don't know how long it's going to be per episode. I hope it's, like, 45, 50 minutes per episode because I cannot have 30-minute episodes. Like, I need a lot of this this has to be like over the length of like movies to make like i want that i want a lot of content um but it's so exciting and i cannot wait for uh to do a reaction or to do a review on the actual obi-wan kenobi show there's gonna be six episodes which i really wish there was more i wanted there to be like 10 or like 12 or like 24, I don't care. But they probably will be able to do a whole lot in six. So I'm hoping that they make them very lengthy. Um, 
but yeah, our first trailer reaction that was super fun. Um, and yeah, we'll definitely be doing some more of these because there's been a ton of trailers coming out. Uh, I have to do one for Andor because that just came out today. Um, and yeah, actually, speaking of Star Wars stuff, the Star Wars celebration has been going on. I'm not actually there or going. But they have been doing the live streams on YouTube for Star Wars Celebration. So I'd recommend watching those. Those have been really, really awesome too. Yeah, and like just overall speaking, there's so much stuff and so much potential that they have with this show. I'm okay, let me just say I'm gonna be one of the um not one of the first people, but this is something that I have thought of before the show has come out. My boy Qui-Gon is going to make an appearance. He's gonna be in the show somehow. I am so hoping for that like 100 percent. i really want that to happen i am just praying that he's going to be in it they really i really think they're going to do that so there's so much to be excited for so take a uh, look for the kenobi show and thank you guys so much for tuning in to this week's episode thank you guys so much for listening i know this episode's like very short compared to what we usually do but you know what i'm i was thinking like why not try to make them a little bit shorter snippets because in all honesty, I did not feel like writing like, hour-long <laughs> scripts or like outlines. Um, that's very, I don't know, kind of tiring to do. So I was like, let me just, we're doing, we're being very spontaneous today. This is just, let's just talk about Obi-Wan. And I'm very excited to talk to you guys more about it when all the show is out. And yeah, I will be talking to you guys soon. You can leave a iTunes review on the entire show in general. Um, and also, I have a YouTube channel, so give this video a like. Uh, that would really help out and be make my day. Um, and also, if you'd like to write a review for how you feel about the Obi-Wan Kenobi trailer and about the episodes once they come out or anything else cool, comic-y, comic booky, pop culture that you've read or watched lately, please feel free to send it over to comicsandwhatnotpodcast at gmail.com. And of course, I'll read it on the show and give you a shout out because who doesn't want a shout out? Um, so that would be really cool. And thank you guys so much again for listening. And I can't wait to see you next time on Comics and Whatnot for episode 11. And uh, I'll be talking to you guys soon. May the force be with you. And ciao, Roma. Enjoy Obi-Wan.